Good morning, hello, and welcome back to a new vlog. I am just about to do some meal prep slash snack prep and just make some delicious things. And it got me thinking I should probably vlog this because I really want to talk on the vlog about kind of things I'm doing differently in 2024, goals. And I think as we're all easing back into January, I thought it would be quite nice to do this as a little vlog. So come along with me today and let's just yeah talk about some things that i want to change this year talk about some goals but also just ease into january together i really i know i did my kind of january reset vlog i feel like i'm still not 100 percent there yet i need to organize my wardrobe room i need to tell you the bathroom that i'm in right now but my snacks already ran out for my reset so i'm gonna remake my snacks so it's a perfect opportunity for me to vlog those snacks. I'm also gonna make a few new things. So I thought it might be quite nice. I see like baking as my therapy. So I'm really excited to treat myself to some downtime and do that baking today, make a few nice snacks and just feel all ready for the week ahead. So first I'm just gonna organize this bathroom because there's a lot of things out. I did a blaze class, so my legs are very, very tired. So I had a bath. Big hack, by the way. We're going straight into it coconut oil in the bath is so good basically makes your skin so soft you literally just run it under the hot tap i'll link one below like the coconut oil that i like to use but you just run it under the the hot tap and then it turns into oil pop it into the bath your entire skin it's as if you've been moisturized but yeah i need to put all of that stuff kind of away get this bathroom nice and tidy and then i'm gonna get on with making some snacks i did already have my smoothie today <gasps> it was a good one I'm really trying to get lots of veggies into my diet and really just focus on nice whole foods. So, first things first, things I'm changing this year, tidying up as I go. So I'm just gonna tidy up and get this bathroom really quickly organized. But hello and happy new year. Can we still say that? Is it too late in January to say that? But hello, if you are here, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's start by organizing this bathroom. That instantly feels better and tidy her. And now we can get started with the rest of the day. So the first snack I'm going to make is my cookie dough balls. I actually bought the proper ingredients this time. So I have proper chocolate chips for it. So many people have been asking me for the recipe, but now I myself have the proper ingredients for it. So I'm gonna actually try them in my blender today. Also, if you wonder what I was using at the start of this video, when I was doing my skincare, wait until you see this. Investing in myself is definitely a goal of mine for this year. How can you perform well if you're not taking time for self-care? It's the best investment you'll make if you invest in yourself because ultimately we are living in our bodies and skin for life. An hour of your day is only around 4% of your day. So whether an hour of your day is spent going for a walk, Listening to a podcast, doing a workout, baking, or doing a four minute facial, try and take that hour per day for you. This is a zip halo and it's all about building self-confidence because when it's used consistently, it might just be the key to unlocking radiant, smooth, and brighter skin. The science is amazing and I was so happy to unbox this because good skincare makes me feel great. It means I get that four minutes to myself and the benefits are amazing for my skin as well. I was really scared it would be a faff to use, but there's a free easy app and it just takes you through all the facials. It's about consistency over perfection for me this year. I want to be more consistent with posting to YouTube, more consistent with my good skincare, moisturizing my body, my workouts and my home cooking. Basically a little progress every day adds up. It doesn't have to be perfection. Consistency first. Every day, this progress adds up to big results, and I don't just mean with skincare, workouts, career, whatever your goals may be. 
The Zip Halo is small but mighty. It uses electrical wavelengths at a cellular level and they sync with electrical impulses to facilitate growth and repair. This results in long-term benefits. And then the dual waveform technology takes the guesswork out of your facial so you can literally have that four minutes of calm at home. It awakens the skin with the instant effect of the microcurrent to depuff and lift your complexion. Honestly, instantly, my skin feels so lifted. Those nanocurrent wavelengths go deeper into the skin for repair, skin cell regeneration and stimulating collagen. I do have a promo code which I'll leave on screen for smoother skin and a little bit of self-care every morning or night. I am so excited to keep consistently using this. So far, I love it. Here's to prioritizing self-care, even just once per day this year, whether that's a workout, a walk, or a mini facial. 2024 changes, eat my greens, and I have very, very good skin products. That, that's the goal. Hydration, good skin products, good snacks to grab and go. So yes, I don't want to repeat myself too much from the New Year's vlog, but I am going to make the snacks that I grab. I like to do this because then for the week ahead, I have good snacks ready to grab. I'm trying not to eat as many protein bars because I feel like they make my tummy a bit dodgy. I love protein bars, but some of them maybe make my tummy a bit dodgy, so I think I need to go onto the vegan ones again. So I'm trying to just grab my dates and my cookie dough balls before I work out instead. So far, so good. I don't know if anyone gets it where when they work out, sometimes it takes like a long time for things to digest. So like I love porridge oats, but I have to leave them so long to digest. For some reason, my energy balls, even though they have oats in them, they work fine like an hour before I work out. And my dates have been having two to three dates and an energy ball and they've been working. So yes, something I'm changing for 2024 is trying to get rid of loads of artificial stuff in my diet and just having more nourishing whole foods, home cooking, home prepping. So yeah, I'm gonna make loads more recipes today, um, but I'm gonna go make the cookie dough balls first because I wanna do them first because I actually really quite want to eat one right now. But yeah, good skincare as well. Who doesn't want good skincare and good a good skin routine for 2024? Always, it's always a resolution. More water to hydrate me, gonna keep filling this up. You can hear Matt's football in the background. That will be another 20, 2024 resolution for me. Less football on in the background when I'm vlogging, but it's always on in this household. But yeah, if I keep filling this, I saw someone say that they drink two full ones of these a day. I feel like I'm filling it all day. It's just a great way to monitor how much water I'm drinking. Are they scored? 1 0 down. They've scored straight away. 1 0 down, guys. It's not looking good. In the first minute and they scored. They made a mistake in the first minute and they scored. It's all happening in the vlog. Okay, so next I'm gonna just pop all of my veggies away. I've said this on Instagram a lot, but I basically freeze all of my vegetables because it means that they are ready to just grab and go for my smoothies. They actually act like a fruity ice cube then, which I love, but it means that if things are gonna go off, like blueberries go off so quickly, um, they're not gonna go off because you freeze them before they go off and then I can just throw them into my smoothies. In case you're new here and you missed it, I do actually have my very own healthier recipe ebook. It has kind of like waffles, oats, muffins, those kind of bits in there. So I'm going to link it in the description box just in case you missed it um, and wanted to get your hands on it if you are thinking of doing more home cooking or baking this year. Just making my chickpea balls. Need to make them a bit better. I'm actually gonna trial them for the first time ever in this blender. Um, we've got my chickpeas, we've got some oats. I didn't actually blitz it into oat flour first, which I usually do, so let's see if this works. Peanut butter going in, going in a hat, hat. I ordered this today and I was really impressed with it because it was three pounds and it doesn't have any nasties in it. Usually um, peanut butters that have no nasties in it are like five pounds, so I was quite impressed with that. Okay, so I'm trying it in my blender for the first time, as in I usually use my Thermomix. We've got peanut butter, we've got chickpeas, which is a secret ingredient, and we've got oats. I'm adding some honey. I've been using squirty honey, but I feel like this honey actually works a lot better with the recipe. And then some vanilla essence is also going in there.
So I wanted to try my pretty blender for the first time, but I have to say the Thermomix is better when it comes to making these balls because it's already kind of burnt it out. I think it just needs a bit more liquid in there, but this recipe doesn't really call for much liquid. So I might have to move into the Thermomix, which just absolutely blasts everything up quicker. If in doubt, use a the Thermomix. I'm now just transferring everything into my Thermomix. Look, this is great for smoothies and I've been doing, did the most insane mac and cheese last night butternut squash which i think i might put the recipe for that in this vlog because it was so good i did film it just in case i wanted to show it and um, this has blended well but like the chickpeas haven't blended properly so i think i saved this one for smoothies and my thermomix for like insane food blending this is more for like soft things so i'm just moving it all over the consistency of this energy balls looks a lot better so i made them the other day on the vlog and i used butter beans this time i'm using chickpeas and the aquafaba which is actually the water that comes in the chickpeas i've refined this recipe so many times but i want it to be perfect sorry you can hear matt watching the football did they score they should have, they should have scored but they didn't so this is the consistency in my last vlog I made them. They do tend to change because I switch up the ingredients a bit, but this is like the base ingredients. Honey, peanut butter, chickpeas or butter beans, vanilla essence, salt, oats. Now we're back in the Thermomix. Let's go, let's blend this. Okay, that is perfect. So now I'm gonna add my chocolate chips in, let it set for a bit, and then I can turn these into energy balls, cookie dough style. The chocolate chips are inside, let's turn these into balls so I can eat one. These ones are perfectly gooey, absolutely delicious, and I use dark chocolate because I'm trying to have more, well, apparently it's less sugar. I don't know if that's actually true, so do not quote me on that. But yes, dark chocolate chip cookie dough bites. Et voila, they're gonna go in the fridge now. So I was trying to film that for Instagram and there's definitely still an issue with my phone. Even though I took it into Apple, um, it just doesn't focus when I'm trying to take pictures. Does anyone else have that problem with the new phone? So the next thing I am going to make, I actually saw this on Instagram, so I am kind of changing this i saw a homemade rocky road brownie three ripe bananas peanut butter dark cocoa powder mini marshmallows broken biscuits um he used biscoff i'm gonna use uh i got some waitrose malted milk biscuits just because they were way cheaper than biscoff um and then bake for 25 minutes on 180 degrees so I'm gonna make that for dessert. Even though like it's not dessert time, we're gonna have it later. So I'm gonna just pop the oven on and do that. The irritation about home cooking and having more nutrients is the amount of mess it makes in the house. For the last two weeks, I've been doing so much cooking and baking and I'm back in that kind of era, which I know everyone has this problem by the way. And it's a complete privilege to be able to cook and bake in my amazing kitchen. But I have to say it just makes the house so messy constant like pots and pans so something i'm changing in 2024 is cleaning as i go i mean i'm i've always been someone that cleans as i go but clean as i go even more so like today is my prep day instead of like making the dates tomorrow and the cookie dough balls today i'm just doing it all today because then all of the mess is out of the way in one day i think that is an efficient way to do it so this seems to be like a one kind of bowl dessert which is perfect for me because then i don't have to make loads of mess so yeah, you can see a lot of mess behind me and I'm still aware of just how messy my garden looks. When I was filming the um, cookie dough, I was like, oh dear, my god, gosh, I thought it was a cat up on my sky. Like, and my garden just looks so messy um, in all the backgrounds of my vlogs and I'm just really sorry, but we should be done soon. So this has for three bananas. I'm just gonna do two because they are big bananas. Then I'm gonna add in some peanut butter and some dark cocoa powder. This is what it looks like and I'm just gonna kind of mash this all together and then I'm gonna add in marshmallows and the broken biscuits. Apparently this is like a healthier rocky road, let's see. I 
post I saw asked for mini marshmallows. These are definitely not mini marshmallows. So I'm gonna chop them up. But yeah, I was just thinking when I was looking at my energy balls, I'm trying to grab and go kind of better things. This is a dessert, this is not a grab and go. So things like my energy balls are just better than grabbing like a sugary cookie, which is what I usually grab. Um, that doesn't mean that there's not room for other stuff. Like balance is key. I will definitely be still eating red velvet cake and cupcakes. This is not like I'm not cutting everything out. I'm just trying to have 80% of my diet a bit less refined, a bit more kind of whole foodie where I can. So yes, like I say, if I can grab those energy balls from the fridge and my dates, then I feel like I'm, I'm starting on a less artificial start my day if that makes sense but if in doubt porridge you can't beat it i was listening to a podcast about ultra processed foods and i just love that they said how great porridge is porridge is one of the best things in the world just have it with some water or with some milk and it's amazing with fruit on top even better i just personally can't have it before i work out because it takes me a while to digest probably because i have such a big bowl of porridge filled with so much stuff but yeah i'm gonna add these marshmallows and so chop them up Okay, this looks amazing and it's going in the oven at 25 degrees so this is basically apparently a healthier rockier road it's just marshmallows some form of biscuit some uh yeah you could use raw cacao but i just used cocoa powder and then mashed bananas that is it 25 minutes in the oven let's go 2024 rules are tidy as i go so i'm going to tidy some of this stuff up and then i'm going to get on with the dates so hopefully the carnage in the kitchen is less carnage tomorrow because I'm doing all of the snacks today. Those malted biscuits were really good actually. Um, she says she's eating whole foods and then she puts malted biscuits into the dessert. Yes, that's because it's called balance. I would never cut loads of stuff out. But it's nice to do healthier versions of things. Did I actually buy some Belle Vita biscuits which I thought might work nicely in there? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, so last night I made like a healthier butternut squash mac and cheese and it was so good that I've actually ordered loads of other stuff that just came so I can remake it and film it properly. But I do want to talk you through it. Um, I actually ordered macaroni for my next one to make it like actual mac and cheese. I just used a rigatoni for the one that I made last night and I used a full butternut squash, which by the way, love butternut squash, but it's quite difficult to like, you know, it's a lot of work to chop it up and stuff. And then I found these. So for my next one, I'm going to use this one. So it's already done. So roast it first and then pop it in the mac and cheese. And actually my blender worked for that and didn't break. And then I'm also going to add sweet potato to it as well. So basically it's like a hidden veggie mac and cheese i found a kind of similar recipe online and then i just adapted it because shock i didn't have many of the ingredients but these are so i can make it later on in the week so i'm gonna pop on screen yesterday and talk you through the most amazing yummy mac and cheese which and it absolutely ticks my resolutions and things i'm trying to change in 2024 because it's got so many vegetables in it and i'm just trying to cram fruit and vegetables into everything where i can basically so tick no sleep while things run dry I'm empty I can't see I'm blinded by this concrete And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering How far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't much about me here i am alone how to move on without you 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 without you 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 new face same I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. 
Cause I just wanted you And if I could I'd leave the city too I don't blame you And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am not knowing how to move on without you So that was so delicious. So many people on Instagram messaged me being like, can you share the recipe? And I was like, okay, I need to reorder everything and make the recipe again. But it's crazy that all of those things blended together just made like the most delicious mac and cheese, no flour. I put like a little bit of cheese in. You probably don't even need to add the cheese. I didn't add loads of butter, loads of milk. So it's not a traditional mac and cheese. It's just like a hidden veggie pasta sauce that tastes like mac and cheese. And I was too excited to eat it. I should have actually left it in the oven longer and it would have been even better. And we had so much that we actually had the rest of it for lunch. So it was perfect because it acted as four portions and I popped it in like the biggest tub. Okay, my brownie is ready now. So I'm gonna get that out. <laughs> and I'm really excited, I hope it's good. And then I'm gonna make some dates and then pop them in the fridge with the energy balls. And they will be ready for the week ahead for me to have. And mainly because I need them before my workout tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it literally looks like a s'mores meets a brownie. It looks amazing. Another thing I'm going to change in 2024, and I do have like some deeper things I want to change. They're not all just about like food um, and a fitness, but look, I'm going to start using my oven gloves more because I really need to properly use my oven gloves so I don't get burnt. No, that looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe the base of that is banana. The hardest bit is letting it cool because I just want to eat it all. I know I said this was for dessert tonight, but it's actually so good. I feel like if you use raw cacao, you could definitely use that as a breakfast dish as well. Oh my god. That is so good. So good. So I did want to talk about a few other things. I'm changing in 2024. This was not meant to just be a baking vlog, but baking is my therapy. So, c'est la vie. Something I'm definitely changing in 2024 is sleep. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about sleep, podcasts, podcasts, and I just need to get more sleep. Does anyone agree? I don't even have the excuse of children, but I just have the worst sleep. I get quite a lot of like anxiety before bed and I think everything's in my head. So a few things I do to try and get back to sleep, I use a sleep spray. It definitely does help like spray my entire, my screen looks really dirty. I can't tell if it's from baking or if it's the actual lens, sorry. I use a uh, sleep spray, which definitely calms me. And then I try and have like a big brain dump before I go to bed. So I tap away on my laptop and I like type everything out before bed. But I maybe need to do that like two hours before. I need to stop with like the blue light. I have the thing on my phone so I can turn, um, you like press a button and it means it goes a night shift. It goes orange at a certain time. I know I need to do that. I know everything I need to do to be better at sleep. Like, you know, maybe have a calming bath before bed not have my mind in overdrive but the problem is matt loves to watch like really loud tv and stuff before bed he actually likes to fall asleep to it i don't i need silence so i've been using um an app on my phone and popping like sleep sounds on meditation i've been using my sleep spray and i also put an eye mask on that has made such a difference to how much sleep i get so 2024 is a year of sleep i need my sleep i need to get more sleep and i need to go to bed earlier Matt was saying it's something like for every hour after 12 you need an extra hour of sleep in the morning um, and I don't know I really need to stop going to bed so late I just find that I work really well late at night because then no one's awake so no one's contacting me so I don't know if that's like a thing with creative people but yes need more sleep I'm going to change that I'm actually going to change that we said we were going to go to bed at 10 at 10 p.m every night that has not happened a single night in January I also read sleeping before bed um, sleeping before bed, eating within two hours of sleep. And I love to have like toast before bed because I'm always hungry before bed. So I maybe need to stop that. If anyone has any sleep tips, please leave them below. Are you bored of me making dates yet? Because they're so delicious. And I thought, wow, it's a perfect time to talk to you about more things I'm changing in 2024. And go over more of my um, kind of resolutions and ins and outs. I don't know if you've seen, but there's a list going around on Instagram. Do you need to wash dates? 
Alexa, do I need to wash Medijool dates? I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. From the whole portion .com. Yes, it is recommended to wash Medijool dates before use. Medijool dates. Okay, I'm not going to do all of these because there's a lot, a lot, a lot, but I'm going to do enough for my breakfast before I work out. Let me just wash these. My camera died literally just as that was happening. So I started to melt my chocolate for my date. So what I was saying is there's a trend where people are writing their ins and outs of 2024. And I think it's amazing. You kind of write what's coming into your life in 2024, the things you want to do more of, and then you write what's going out. So what we're not doing in 2024, AKA I'm not grabbing an ice biscuit for my breakfast every single day. So, whilst I melt the chocolate for my day, I thought I'd tell you some of my ins and outs. I did touch on this a little bit when I was doing my New Year vlog. However, I thought it would be nice to talk about it more because I think it's just a really nice topic. I've talked about quite a lot of them anyway um, throughout this vlog, ins and outs. Okay, so another one. Apart from not eating biscuits for breakfast, I basically got some more 2024 outs. And these things don't have to be things from the top of your head. Like I've been writing this since the 31st of December. So I keep adding things to it, which is why I haven't posted the Instagram yet that everyone's doing. Um, 2024 out, letting people in so easily. I need to stop doing that. I just want to be like best friends with everyone. And I'm very much someone who just wants to be best friends with everyone. It's really hard. And then I let people in very, very easily. I wear my heart on my sleeve and then I get really hurt because of it. I definitely love way too hard. So that is an out for me. That then takes me on to one-sided friendships. Again, I've been stung in the past with one-sided friendships where I feel like I just give a lot of love, but I really don't receive anything back. Um, my friend actually sent me, sorry, I need to, I need to mix my chocolate. My friend sent me this deer on TikTok and it's like a little deer with bows in its hair. And it was like, when people are mean to me, I wish they could see that this is actually me. And I was like, oh my God, that's so true. It's like, just a little deer, just prancing around, just wanting to be friends with everyone with bows. So yes, ow, no one-sided friendships. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because it might inspire some of your ins and outs. What else do we have on here? Um, saying yes to everything. I have this as an out and I have this as an in. This is something I'm changing in 2024. Okay, so part of me thinks I need to stop saying yes to everything because then I'm stressed and I do too much and there's no downtime and you become a workaholic. But then on the other side, part of me thinks it's a complete in and we should be saying yes to everything because then we'll have more opportunities, more amazing experiences and more doors open. So I'm gonna be saying yes to the right things. Like I, I need to stop turning things down that mean they could lead to great experiences, opportunities, Sometimes fear gets in the way. Sometimes laziness gets in the way. So I need to say yes more, but yes more to the right things, I would say. I'm just, just casually stirring my chocolate to make my dates to pop in the fridge. Um, another thing is stop jumping oceans for people. I do that a lot. Have you ever heard the quote that's like, stop jumping oceans for people who wouldn't jump over a puddle for you? That's something I've done my whole life, but like, it's not the end of the world, it's fine. Um, but that is definitely an out. More ins, magnesium. I think I did speak about this on my new year vlog. I'm back on my magnesium hype. I get really bad clenching and magnesium tablets is so funny because I have been talking about these for like nearly two years now. So many people on their ins list have magnesium on there. I'm not talking about like magnesium water. I take the um, tablets. I think I talked about this on my favorites of 2023. I'll link the ones I take, but it's meant to just like soften, I don't know, soften the muscles or something. So that is an in. Magnesium and vitamins, that's in. Just like Pilates, that's an in. More reformer Pilates, more kind of slow things. That's what I'm gonna change in 2024. I'm gonna do more Pilates. I did quite a lot last year, but I wanna do more. Email power hours, that's a good one. Email power hours is like, you literally set a timer on your phone and you only do an hour on your emails. Because otherwise you could spend all day doing your emails and you should block it out. So you do like the first start of the day, say like 10 a.m and then do some at 4 p.m. before the end of the day. Otherwise, you are literally doing emails all day. That's a good work in, actually. Okay, the chocolate is stirring nicely. Almost ready for me to do my day. So, I hope you liked that little spiel of some of them. I've got a lot more things I'm changing as well, but for now, I'm gonna slice open these. 
add my peanut butter because a big in for me. Can you believe it? I got dark chocolate and out for me is, I mean, I'm still gonna eat chocolate. I love chocolate, I love milk chocolate. And out for me is sugar in terms of I eat too much sugar. So I'm just trying to limit my sugar a little bit more. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop enjoying my dairy milk and my cakes. It just means I'm not gonna eat it all day, every day. So yes, in is dark chocolate. In is good snacks. So yeah, more dates because I've said it on so many vlogs. I make these dates, they're so good to grab and go. In for good yummy nutrition. And lots of like nutrient dense things, like some peanut butter in there and yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's make these. <laughs> Okay, my house smells amazing. They smell delicious. So excited to eat those. Some more things on my list if you're interested in more things that I'm changing in 2024. This is an interesting one, bar seating. Yes to bar seating. So I went to New York in January last year. Well, it was actually the year before. You know what I mean, with Emily. And we sat at bar seating in quite a lot of restaurants and I've never done that before. And we were so open to meeting new people. And as much as I don't want to let people in too easily, that just means that like I need to take a bit longer to get to know people um, before trusting immediately. However, bar seating, you sit there and you just meet so many wonderful people. Like we were so open to meeting new people that we actually met really wonderful people by just sitting at the bar. So if you're solo dining or you're dining with a friend, Think about taking the bar seating in a restaurant. It's such a great way to be social and to meet people, even just like chat with the waiters. It was so fun. That then takes you on to another point actually, um, openness to meet new people. That was also on there. So you're gonna meet more people by being open. I feel like I need to, I do have a very open heart. As I mentioned, I have been stung quite a lot for having such an open heart, for loving so much and giving so much. So it's a superpower but it's also like a bad thing at the same time I do think you do have to have an openness to meet people you can't be closed off from meeting people and the world can make you harsh it can make you closed off you get hurt not everyone's a bad person just like not everyone's a good person so it is one of my ins is also have an openness to meet new people be open don't sit there closed when I'm by myself like sit there open and be approachable and you never know who might come into your life and I know a lot of my ins and outs and resolutions are quite contradictory to each other, but hopefully a few of them make sense to you. Obviously drink my water, I've told you about that. Reading before bed, I've actually got my books out ready. Even though Matt goes to bed with like loud, he, he's someone that needs to watch TV and I'd love it if you commented below, do you watch TV before bed? Um, like in bed or do you read? What helps you sleep better? I am I need to read, I need to get like a light, a nice warm light because it's better for sleeping to pop on my book and I need to read and ease myself into bed so I'm not on my bright phone even with the night shift on. It's not good enough. I read the news on my phone before bed or I listen to Matt's TV. I need to not do that. So one of my ins is reading. I don't think I read a single book last year. I listen to a lot of podcasts though. Um, I do a lot of reading online, but physical, there's nothing beats like a physical book, does it? So that is definitely an in for me. Read before bed. I also wrote down a really interesting quote. It said, your respect has to be bigger than your feelings. Oh, that, that hurts. That's good. That's a good one for 2024. Things to change. Just remember that your respect has to be bigger than your feelings. You might love someone, you might care for them a lot, but if they're not a good person or they've caused you hurt when you've only been a good person to them, then you have to walk away. Your respect has to be bigger than that big heart that you have. And I really mean that. And that's something I'm definitely going to remember in 2024. I know it's not easy. It's easier said than done, but try not to be disrespected. What else do we have? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've obviously got some career things. 2024, there's some career things I want to do. I want to finish my personal training course. I spoke about that on my last video, but I'm really excited to be restarting. Well, I've already restarted it, the personal training course that I started ages and ages ago, um, but I had to stop due to the pandemic. I'm so happy to have restarted it. 
And it's not because I want to be a personal trainer as such. I just want that rich knowledge so that I can maybe do retreats, maybe things like that, maybe host more live workouts um, and just bring more knowledge to you guys because obviously I'm so passionate about fitness. The company I'm doing it with are called Leap Academy. It's really, really great. A friend of mine recommended them to me. She is the creme de la creme of nutrition and they really are the best of the best. I'm doing a lot of learning online, a lot of reading online actually, but also lots of videos from like top trainers. They've given me limited codes. So if you do wanna do something in the new year, like maybe one of your new year's resolutions is to start something new, um, I'll just link that below because you might still be able to use the promo code and get 25% off your course. They have like nutrition, they have fitness, training courses, they've got loads of things. But yes, that's definitely a big one for me. So try something new, start new things, and finish the things that I already started. Like I wanna finish this course in 2024. Hopefully mid 2024, I'll be saying to you, hey, I am a qualified personal trainer. Let's do a retreat and a wellness retreat. Because a lot of my goals are around like wellness and making my wellness better this year. There are a lot of the changes I'm making, whether it's better skincare, whether it's reading before bed, sleeping more, eating better, all of these things help with your mindset and it's all kind of well-being. Do you know what else I'm changing in 2024? I'm gonna use loads of house hacks. There are so many things I need to get fixed in this house and they really like tap away at me. I listened to a podcast that was all about stress and it was saying that like tiny stresses add up and then you get really stressed. So maybe you burn the toast, maybe you're late to work, maybe you miss your workout class. They all then add up and add to like massive stress, which is really bad for you. And something that stresses me is like the little bits and bobs in the house that need sorting. So in 2024, I am getting the list of things in the house fixed and sorted. And I'm gonna be more efficient with hacks. So things like hooks to put my, I don't know, things on in the house or things like lights up the corridor, just things that are gonna make my life more efficient in the home. I know that was a lot of talking. I'm so sorry if that was too much of a rambly vlog. I'm really trying to slow my pace down, but as a person, I'm just very excited, <laughs> very talkative. I'm a Duracell bunny, but we've got some nice, healthy, delicious snacks snacking. I hope you enjoyed the mac and cheese recipe because that was so delicious. Eights are in the fridge. The energy balls are in the fridge. I can't wait to eat that dessert late tonight. I've got loads of other recipes that I'm gonna be making. I'm just trying to kind of like start the year on a positive. Don't feel too much pressure. You know, you don't have to start on January the 1st. You can start on January the 31st if you want. But if you also do like to use January as an excuse to set a goal, set a list of ins and outs, clear out your wardrobe, which I need to do, but I need, I think that's gonna be a separate vlog because that's gonna be long and this is already long. Then you know what, jump at the chance to use it. I know a lot of people don't like new year, new me. Personally, I really like it. Any excuse to start fresh, whether it's a Monday or Sunday, take it. New chapter, start fresh, take what you need. It might be that you just do one thing, like you do 10,000 steps a day, or it might be that you just drink more water, um, an extra glass of water a day. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Goals are very personal, but personally, they're the things that I, some of the things I'm going to be doing, I'm going to continue with my like 10,000 steps a day, but I'm really excited um, to just kind of be on a, a more a better wellness journey this year let's say so thank you so 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 much if you made it this far comment below with any of your goals if you want to share them let's chat let me know what you think about some of my goals and i will see you for the next vlog